you know, doctor, we've talked a lot about uh, vitamins, uh, other nutrients. When it comes to nutrition, it, it seems like that gets overlooked a lot by oh. people. And you know, how, v- how important is that? What kind of a, what, a role does that play? Vitamins? Just nutrition in general. Oh, my gosh. Well, that's what we're made of. That our nutrition in general is, 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 the, is certainly the first key to health. If you, uh, even Hippocrates... 2,400 years ago, the father of medicine, mm-hmm. he said, uh, when someone is sick, the first thing you do is change the diet. So that's not a new concept. Mm-hmm. And, and if, you're, if you're low in any nutrients, or if you're imbalanced in nutrients, uh, some nutrients are terrific for you, like zinc. But if you take zinc supplements, and you get up to 100, 200, 300 milligrams a day, you can start to damage your ability to use zinc. Mm. Uh, if you, the same thing is true of uh, B6. Vitamin B6 is a very good vitamin. Uh, it's a very important vitamin, if, which is almost uh, redundancy. I don't know any, any vitamins that aren't mm. important. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but vitamin B6, if you, if you get too much of it, it can imbalance the vitamins going to your nerves and cause neuropathy. So, so, uh, but but that's not usually the problem. Usually the problem is that we're not getting enough, and we're not getting enough because of several things. For one thing, we don't know what's enough. Uh, we don't really know what it hasn't been studied well enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's enough vitamin C? This is fun. Do you know the vitamin C recommended daily allowance? You ever heard? It's about 50, 55 milligrams a day. Okay. You heard that? That was lower than I would have guessed, but yeah. Well, the, the recommended daily allowance has been 55 milligrams a day. Now, how do you suppose our brilliant government came up with that? <laughs> they came up with it by saying, by measuring all the food that is sold in this country every year. <laughs> they take all the food that is sold in this country every year, and you calculate from this food how much vitamin C is sold every year. And then we divide that number by the number of people in the country, say 300 million, and then we divide that by the number of days. And it comes out to 55 milligram per person per day. Now, isn't that brilliant science? It's an exact science, yeah. <laughs> and, that's, and that's how they came up with the recommended daily allowance of vitamin C. And there are all these brilliant internists and nutritionists who base their vitamin recommendations on that yeah. on, on that valuation and it's and and the, and there's others other nutrients that are just as stupid as that that's really stupid and and uh, Linus Pauling who won Nobel prizes and who is one of the great minds of all time well, certainly one of the great scientists of all time mm-hmm. he said that the average human needs 2500 milligrams of vitamin C a day to be healthy. Mm. That's the average. Now, 2,500 is 50 times the, the 5 milligrams. The recommended the daily milligram, allowance. The 50 milligram. So he, so he came up with a figure. Now, how do you get that in a diet? Well, you can't get it very well in a modern diet. You can get it if you eat enough green peppers and sauerkraut. There's certain things that are pretty high in vitamin mm-hmm. C. And uh, so, but, but, uh, Linus Pauling came up with this figure, and this is a guy who is one of the great scientific number crunchers of all time. And, uh, and I love Linus Pauling. He, he, he did tremendous things for, for health and science. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but to, to say vitamin C is okay if you get 50 milligrams a day, when, when people who smoke a cigarette, if you smoke one cigarette, you can burn 50 milligrams in one, in one cigarette. Really? Mm. Uh, you can, uh, with enough stress, you can, you, can, you can destroy the vitamin C in your body mm. with, with emotional stress, with physical stress, with an injury, with a crushed bone, with a, with a, with a bad bruise. So, 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 so we, we were designed to get vitamins in great quantity when we're eating natural roots and, mm. and, and little, you know, you know, the caveman would grab a hamster and bite his head off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, by the way. But, but it's probably, probably a good way to get nourishment. Mm. Uh, poor hamster. 
but uh, but but eating, but you know the 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 primitive animals go for the entrails. Primitive animals will, will rip open the belly and they'll eat, eat the liver and, mm -hmm. and eat the eat the organ meats. And there's a lot of nourishment in that. And we don't get that kind of stuff. We certainly don't get it fresh and unadulterated. Mm -hmm. And uh, and if we did, if we did, a lot of nutritional diseases would disappear. I think most nutri diseases, if not all, have a nutritional component to them.